Hello. I'm Eva. I love chocolate festival. It's held in Amsterdam, the capital city of the Netherlands, every October. It's one of the sweetest events in Europe. Over 700 different flavors of chocolate can be tasted there. I find this fascinating. It's a two-day festival. You can meet chocolate experts from many different countries, as well as the Netherlands. They teach you all about chocolate. You can learn the process of making chocolate. The chocolate organizers don't forget children. They can join entertaining activities like face painting. There's live music in the afternoon and evening. You can enjoy yourselves a lot at this festival. Hello. I'm Eva. I love chocolate festival. It's held in Amsterdam, the capital city of the Netherlands, every October. It's one of the sweetest events in Europe. Over 700 different flavors of chocolate can be tasted there. I find this fascinating. It's a two-day festival. You can meet chocolate experts from many different countries, as well as the Netherlands. They teach you all about chocolate. You can learn the process of making chocolate. The chocolate organizers don't forget children. They can join entertaining activities like face painting. There's live music in the afternoon and evening. You can enjoy yourselves a lot at this festival. The school year in England has three terms. The first term starts in September and finishes in December. Pupils have a two-week holiday at the end of December. It is Christmas holiday. 
The second term starts at the beginning of January and ends in March. There is a two-week holiday at the end of March. It is Easter holiday. The third term begins in April. Summer holiday is from the middle of July to the end of August. It lasts six weeks. During the summer holiday, English teenagers like watching TV and listening to music. They like playing different games. They sometimes read magazines or go swimming. They also enjoy going to the cinema with their friends. They have a good time together. The school year in England has three terms. The first term starts in September and finishes in December. Pupils have a two-week holiday at the end of December. It is Christmas holiday. The second term starts at the beginning of January and ends in March. There is a two-week holiday at the end of March. It is Easter holiday. The third term begins in April. Summer holiday is from the middle of July to the end of August. It lasts six weeks. During the summer holiday, English teenagers like watching TV and listening to music. They like playing different games. They sometimes read magazines or go swimming. They also enjoy going to the cinema with their friends. They have a good time together.
Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Picnics are a great way to have fun and spend time with friends and family. On a picnic, people can enjoy the warm weather, the sights, and at the same time spend some quality time with friends and family. An ideal place for a family picnic is in a local park where there is space to move around. Most families take food that can be eaten without using knives, forks, or chopsticks. Rice or sandwiches are good food to take on a picnic because this type of food is easy to prepare. Most people like to take a picnic basket along for the event. If it is going to be a warm day, a cooler box might be a good idea. Fruit and cookies are good foods to take for people to eat as snacks. If the picnic is well organized, it is more likely to be successful. Choose a good time to go on a picnic. Make sure the weather will be fine, not too hot and not too cold. Of course, check that it won't rain before you go. Organize fun games and activities for children or anyone else that will be going. Ball games are a good idea if there is enough space to move around. The most important thing, though, is for everyone to have fun. This is the main reason for having a picnic. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Picnics are a great way to have fun and spend time with friends and family. On a picnic, people can enjoy the warm weather, the sights, and at the same time spend some quality time with friends and family. An ideal place for a family picnic is in a local park where there is space to move around. Most families take food that can be eaten without using knives, forks, or chopsticks. Rice balls or sandwiches are good food to take on a picnic because this type of food is easy to prepare. Most people like to take a picnic basket along for the event. If it is going to be a warm day, a cooler box might be a good idea. Fruit and cookies are good foods to take for people to eat as snacks. If the picnic is well organized, it is more likely to be successful. Choose a good time to go on a picnic. Make sure the weather will be fine, not too hot and not too cold. Of course, check that it won't rain before you go. Organize fun games and activities for children or anyone else that will be going. Ball games are a good idea if there is enough space to move around. The most important thing, though, is for everyone to have fun. This is the main reason for having a picnic.
The day after Thanksgiving is the start of a holiday shopping season in the USA. Thanksgiving is always on a Thursday, so the day after is a Friday. This day is known as Black Friday. It has been the busiest shopping day of the year since 2005. It was first used in Philadelphia in the 1950s. The police called this day Black Friday because of the heavy traffic. In the 1960s, stores tried to rename the day Big Friday. The name Black Friday continued to spread across the country. Now people all over the country take part in the event known as Black Friday. It is even spreading to other parts of the world. Stores have held Black Friday events in the UK, Australia, Brazil and Mexico since 2012. Most stores offer things with lower prices to sale on Black Friday. They open their doors in the weak hours of the morning. They try to attract shoppers with big discounts. Some items like TVs are much cheaper than usual. Stores may even lose money on these items. They hope that shoppers will buy gifts for other people while they are in the store. Black Friday is a great time to get good deals. The problem is that there are not enough low-priced items to go around. Each store may only have a few. These items are in a high demand. People stand in long lines to get such amazing prices. They may line up hours before a store opens. They may be hoping to get a low price on a TV or laptop, but not everyone who wants one will get one. Some people are upset and leave. After Thanksgiving is the start of a holiday shopping season in the USA. Thanksgiving is always on a Thursday, so the day after is a Friday. This day is known as Black Friday. It has been the busiest shopping day of the year since 2005. It was first used in Philadelphia in the 1950s. The police called this day Black Friday because of the heavy traffic. In the 1960s, stores tried to rename the day Big Friday. The name Black Friday continued to spread across the country. Now people all over the country take part in the event known as Black Friday. It is even spreading to other parts of the world. Stores have held Black Friday events in the UK, Australia, Brazil and Mexico since 2012. Most stores offer things with lower prices to sale on Black Friday. They open their doors in the weak hours of the morning. They try to attract shoppers with big discounts. Some items like TVs are much cheaper than usual. Stores may even lose money on these items. They hope that shoppers will buy gifts for other people while they are in the store. Black Friday is a great time to get good deals. The problem is that there are not enough low-priced items to go around. Each store may only have a few. These items are in a high demand. People stand in long lines to get such amazing prices. They may line up hours before a store opens. They may be hoping to get a low price on a TV or laptop but not everyone who wants one will get one. Some people are upset and leave.
The Galapagos Islands are home to a number of fascinating and rare animals. It's also where Charles Darwin formed his theory of evolution. One of the animals in Galapagos that inspired Darwin was the giant tortoise. They are the largest living species of tortoise. Giant tortoises can live for a very long time, over 100 years. They are herbivores, which means that they eat only plants such as leaves, fruits, flowers, and roots. Tortoises are part of the reptile family, so they are cold-blooded, which means that their body temperature changes depending on the temperature around them. The giant tortoise is a special and famous creature of the Galapagos Islands. Spanish explorers who discovered the islands in the 16th century named them after the Spanish Galapico, meaning tortoise. The Galapagos Islands are home to a number of fascinating and rare animals. It's also where Charles Darwin formed his theory of evolution. One of the animals in Galapagos that inspired Darwin was the giant tortoise. They are the largest living species of tortoise. Giant tortoises can live for a very long time, over 100 years. They are herbivores, which means that they eat only plants such as leaves, fruits, flowers, and roots. Tortoises are part of the reptile family, so they are cold-blooded, which means that their body temperature changes depending on the temperature around them. The giant tortoise is a special and famous creature of the Galapagos Islands. Spanish explorers who discovered the islands in the 16th century named them after the Spanish Galapico, meaning tortoise.